So today's video for things you can teach your kids or have your kids do at home is we're actually going to do a video um, to show how rain works. And it's a very simple one, one you probably have everything for at home. I grabbed two different jars. I did one just normal like jar, it was an olive jar because I want to show you can use a regular one, you don't necessarily have to have a ball jar. But we're going to do both of them. And then you're going to need some shaving cream. This is the foam version, so you need shave foam, not shave cream, and then you just need some um, blue or any color of um, food coloring. Yep. So we're going to show you and teach you and give you uh, a tutorial on how rain works so you can try this out with your kids. This is what's going to be the cloud. Okay. Okay. There we go. So there's your cloud. That looks like expanding foam. Is that my cloud? That's your cloud. What now type of cloud? Well, there's many different kinds of clouds. Teach me. I, there's a lot of them that create rain. I guess the most well-known one is cumulonimbus, which is how you get your thunderstorms. There we go. So, a cloud, if you didn't know, is just a bunch of water particles in the air that are just so light and they just kind of like group together and form a cloud. That's pretty much what they are. They're basically just vaporized moisture. And as you know, it gets more humid and everything outside is when this is supposed to, and mine might take a while, we'll try yours first. So as you add food coloring or food drops, it's gonna show you that as the cloud gets heavier, it'll start to form rain. So this is where you have like your child or whoever you're trying to teach about that. Whoa. See, now it got too heavy. Whoa. And you can see that the food coloring is starting to go down. It is pouring. Yes, so that's how rain works. And this is how you can show how it works, is as you add, you can add to mine now if you want. Okay. As you add, I put way too much. But as you add food coloring, mine's actually going down, right there. There we go. Yeah. So as the cloud gets heavier and heavier, so as the more and more rain accumulates within that cloud, that's when rain happens. Wow, that's a lot of food coloring. Yep, I wanted to make it rain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, fun nifty science experiment. If you want, you can look online, learn about all the different clouds. I mean, you have your cumulus clouds, your cumulonimbus clouds, you have your stratus clouds, they all are different. Um, but the one that always sticks with me is the cumulonimbus. So as we get into April, you know, April showers, this is actually a good time to teach kids about how rain happens and why it happens. Maybe not put as much foam as I put on the top of this one, but... There it is. Science! Science! Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.